heard since we could not have cameras inside the building. As Joan reported, the jury and later on members of the media toured the 1200 building. So the video was shot from the outside of the three story building and it shows the bullet holes that remain in the windows inside jurors and journalists walk through the hallways and classrooms left intact since that fateful day in 2018. All right, let's th send things over right now to Ted Scout and Ted loved one share their victim impact statements in court today before the state rested their case. Yeah, Elliot, today this case really hit a new point. As you said, the state rested its case, but that didn't come until after the jury heard from families, grieving, tearful families, talking about their incredible loss. Your Honor, state rests. Amid a day of emotionally draining testimony, prosecutors hitting a pivotal moment, officially resting their case against the confessed Parkland shooter. Before the state rested with tears streaming down her face, the mother of Peter Wang holds his picture for the jury to see. With her niece translating for her, she said even four years later, she can't accept that he's gone. Peter was the perfect son. Everyone told me I was so lucky to have him. He was goofy, respectful, outgoing, and had a quality of giving that leaves marks in people's hearts. With the confessed killer sitting just feet away, Wang's mom explained that her son, part of the ROTC with dreams of military service, had a smile that could shine through darkness and that now their lives are changed forever. Each night in bed, I wonder how life would be if Peter was still here and I wish I could go back in time to see him again, hug him again and kiss him again. As Helena's mother, I was most impressed by Helena's wisdom and strength of character. Helena Ramsey's mom telling the jury that at just 17, her daughter was interested in humanitarian and environmental issues and how her murder forever changed their family. Helena was murdered on her father's birthday, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. That day, will never be a celebration and can never be the same for him. And now is filled with pain, as is every day. And certainly a difficult day for those families here uh, in the courtroom. Now that the state has rested its case, what that means is the jury will not come back for more than two weeks. They'll be back on August 22nd. Meanwhile, the attorneys, they'll come back on the 15th for a hearing that they're going to have in the courtroom. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.